Hi, Paul from Power Wash Store here. We're gonna tell you about priming and using the booster pump skid that we have made. We're gonna start out here. We have our garden hose reel. This is our pressure reel for spraying. Down on the bottom here, we have a pressure regulator uh, that is on it. This bypass kit allows it to bypass and recirculate the fluid that's in the pump while you're uh, off the trigger so it doesn't overheat or deadhead the pump. Uh, works similar to a pressure washer. You're not going to want to let it run more than a minute or two without pulling the trigger because it will eventually heat the water up and, and that can cause damage to the uh, discs inside of here if it runs for a really long time. So it's just squeezing the trigger a little bit, allowing a little fresh fluid in from time to time will help it. So on the top of the tank here, we have a inlet ball valve. Your water is going to come in from your garden hose. You have to choice uh, with this particular ball valve here between with the arrow pointing up it will go to the float valve that's on the tank so when you first hook up your unit you're going to want to make sure you put at least six to ten inches of water in the bottom of your tank before you start trying to prime anything because you're going to need that water in there your chemical tank which is right here will be full of bleach again you want to make sure you have a minimum of six to ten inches of chemical in there um, to make sure that primes properly and down on the bottom here we have our seven gallon uh, chemical tank which will contain your surfactant uh, that you'll be using to mix with your chemicals so we have a ball valve selector here that goes to the tank float valve and when you turn it the other way that'll go down to feed the proportioner on I'm sorry the booster pump on the top of the booster pump we have another ball valve here and if you see that again you're gonna point either to being force-fed from the garden hose reel or drawing through the proportioner. We have a third valve, which is right here, and this is a selector that will allow you to select between water or your SH or your bleach. And that goes directly to the SH valve over here on the proportioner. On the side of the proportioner, you have your water valve, which will always be just water. You have your detergent valve, which goes to your small detergent tank, and you have your SH valve, which will go to the valve that we, the last valve we talked about that allows you to choose between your SH and your water. So when you prime the system, what we're gonna do is when we first initially prime it, and you should only have to do this if you don't run it out of water, you should only have to do this once. When we initially prime it, we'll just start out with water. We're gonna open the water valve all the way. We're gonna come over to the side of the proportioner here, or the uh, booster pump. We're gonna turn the ball valve. This will be connected to the garden hose feeding it. We're gonna turn it to point to the booster pump, and we're gonna turn the booster pump over to being force fed from the water. And what we're gonna do, we'll plug it in and we'll turn it on. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna force feed the water into the booster pump uh, and allow us to force the air out to prime the system. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna turn it on, we're gonna squeeze the trigger, a little water might drip out of here. We're gonna squeeze the trigger and we're gonna force feed it and then it will prime and force the air out of the system. Once the air's out, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this valve back to the proportioner, which will allow us to draw the water in from the tank. And you'll see it actually come in the line and into the proportioner. And you may have to do that two or three times. We're gonna go back to force feed it to get the air back out, and then again back to the proportioner. And then again, get the air out, and then back to the proportioner. And we're gonna do that for the water line. After we prime the water line, we're gonna come back over here. We'll shut the water off. We'll do that same procedure with the soap. We'll open it up all the way. We'll come back over here. We'll turn it to force feed, to force directly in, push the air out, turn it back to the proportioner, and you'll literally see the soap suck into the small line, which is a small 3 8 line. Once you see that it's all the way full, then again, you can go back to, to water. We're gonna come back over here, shut this off, do the same thing with the SH line, and we'll start with the water. We'll have it turn towards water, and we'll push the air out of the system with the booster pump coming force fed then we'll turn to the proportioner you'll see the air come out of the line and then into the system here which is why we use the clear hose so you can see the air go through once you see that it's running clean again we'll turn it back to, to prime to force the air out of the system and then we'll do it again we may have to do this twice then to prime it for the sh we'll do the same thing we'll turn it over to sh and then we'll force the air out then we'll turn it over to the proportioner force the air out turn it over to the proportioner. Now it might take 10 or 15 seconds of running it to force the air out. So you're going to have it this way for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then you're going to turn it to the proportioner. 10 to 15 seconds. Then you can do that. So you may have to do that two or three times. Once you see that all through, 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to do one final purge of the air. We're going to turn it back and we're going to force feed the booster pump and we're going to squeeze this trigger and allow all the air to run out and just force everything out so we got just clean water running out. You'll feel it run real smooth. The pump will uh, settle down. You'll, you won't hear the turbulence in it. It'll quiet down and it'll run nice and smooth. Then we're ready to work with the proportioner. So we're going to turn it over to the proportioner. We're going to come back over here and we're going to get our settings right. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our water up all the way. We're going to open our surfactant up to about three is typically a, a common setting and you'll adjust that to the amount of soap that you want to use. And then we're going to set our, our bleach valve to the percentage of bleach we're looking at. So if we want a one and a half percent concentration, we'll turn it right there. If we want four percent, if we want five and a half percent that would be a basically a 50 50 mix of sh and water which works out to be five and a half percent bleach concentration to their surface so when you're doing a roof you might be at you know a house you might be at three percent on a roof you might be at five percent if we need to go higher than five and a half percent we can actually get up to pure eleven and a half percent bleach by opening the sh valve all the way and then backing the water off and basically reversing the process so if i want more than five and a half i want six percent I'll close the water to 6%. If I want a 9% bleach concentration, I'll go there. And if I want 11.5%, I'd actually close the water up all the way. That would be pure bleach, which you probably would never use. After I'm done spraying and I want to flush the system out, what I'll do is I'll close the detergent valve up. I'll leave my water valve open and my SH valve open. And I'll come back over here and I'll turn this valve back over to water. And I'll continue to spray and what that's going to do is that's going to suck from the water tank and we're going to run water through the SH valve. Then we can use this for flushing and rinsing. It's going to do a couple of things. It's going to flush out your proportioner, it's going to flush out your booster pump and it'll allow you to rinse. If you ever want to get into a situation where you need much more uh, boost to your water, you can actually turn this to, to the booster pump and you turn this to direct feed it and it's going to take whatever your inlet water pressure is and boost it by about 125 PSI, which will give you a lot more oomph. One thing I forgot to mention is after you're done priming everything, what you're going to do is you're going to turn this valve back to the float tank to fill and continue to keep your float tank full as you're washing. So that's how you prime and use the uh, proportioner system with the booster pump skid. Paul from Power Wash Store.